unemployment? What about housing? What about all these people who had fraudulent jobs and fraudulent lending? What about the accountability of the money that was dispersed for restoring America? What's going on with that? Well, I think part of it, Shirley, is that the president obviously wants to go down in history for these kinds of things. First of all, he's already down in history, okay? He's already the first African-American president, so it's historical. Oh, that's historical. That's We're historical. All that. That's all beat in. We're all over that. that, the, that the, please watch the, the anal part <laughs> of that probe. <laughs> Uh, but you know, but I think he wants to be. He wants to get this through, and I think it's become an area of focus. I. But the the passing a bill, just to be able to say that you passed a bill that has no meat, I just can't get excited about it. I'm sorry. Well, so you know these poor little bills, Vic. Look at them. Look at these little bears. The, the bill is affecting their lives. Look at them. By you, next week, I'm gonna take the heads off. You have taken off happened. the pants off the bear. Is there oh, something going on? Is there a bigger message in that, that what you that, just that, did? That, okay. That, Are you in, is that the undressing of the look, Democrats? This is what they're doing. Is that painful? Is that That's what you're going to feel when this bill passes. Oh, my. You know, another thing that we did not talk about, gentlemen, did you know that the Attorney General has announced that over 39 states have stated that if this bill passed, that there's going to be a class action lawsuit against the federal government? Hmm. That's right. Uh -huh. Not only are you going to feel the beer, you're going to feel the, the bill and the, and the pain of the knife and, the, and everything else that comes along with it. Mm, class action. Class yeah, action lawsuit. Yeah. So technically, if this bill does pass, it does not mean that your local state will accept the bill. That means there'll be more bureaucracy, more money, and more money out of your pocket until the attorneys of the United States of America. Mm. Kill a bill. Mm -hmm. mm. Not right. Just, just, it's not right. Vic, what do you feel about that? Well, you know, you guys said something interesting. Um, I think it was a part where you, you, it was about the insurance positioning. I said, well, isn't this a return back to the old system? I know I did the analogy on the pool thing, and I said, so the reward is going to the insurance companies. Did I hear that right from you, Mario? Well, that's the issue I want to know. Okay, because everybody has something different against the bill. My issues with the bill is because it doesn't pay and provide for payment for health care. Remember, I'm all about providing the services for the people who don't have them because they die in the street. Because you have this issue of morality today. You all don't want to watch them die, but on the other hand, you don't want them to get paid for health care. So you're going to have to have one or the other, kind of. So here we are today. The president's trying to push this bill, which is going to mandate that people purchase health care which in a sense is mandating that money go directly to the insurance That's companies. Right. right. No, hell no. I'm not trying to keep them. I actually want to see them go out of business. To me, they're pimps and hustlers, and they're ripping pimps you off. Holes. Have you noticed many people have been experiencing already? It shows you the arrogance, you guys. How many of you have had your health care insurance premiums go up uh, while the debate is right, going on? Because they know right. that they can do they that They know they can do this, this to you. you. And you ain't right. No, it's it purpose, not right. They're purposely doing it because they can get away they with it. They can get them. away with it. Now, and remember, I'm the radical leftist, yes. so my issue with the bill is that it's a fake bill. It doesn't really do anything. Yeah. It doesn't provide what we really need, and so therefore, I'm not going to let you put a feather in your cap right. to say you did this, especially, now especially you all, if you mandate that people must purchase care and you don't provide payment. Whenever you mandate that people purchase anything, you're funding that industry. That's correct. Just like in California, we made the insurance companies richer by mandating auto insurance. Okay, we're going to mandate health care. And these same people that are ripping you off are going to get rich at the, uh, richer, richer at the same time. Richer at the same time. That's Let me read right. another one of the bills. Pages 427 line 15 hyphen 24. Government mandate program for order of end of life that means the government has to how say of how you end your life now, well you know, there's another thing they can control if you live or die well that's being worked out but Kill let me tell you uh, shirley too by the way the sassy republican sassy republicans in that chat room and i'm telling you she's she's right there help me out sassy <laughs> she says the that's my girl Yvonne. <laughs> Yvonne, make sure you check out on my page because she's always giving her comments i mean come on sassy's letting you know that mandated things that mario are talking about this is where government comes in with socialism. This is why we tell you that capitalism is a better system. But, but I gotta, I gotta throw one thing at you, Shirley. Okay. And because Shirley, you, Shirley, you again, my Shirley here. She, she is, is, is as dangerous she is with that knife. Yeah, I know. She is a loving American who cares for the Americans out there. I, the question I have is, do we? And I want to ask the people in the chat room. 
do we fundamentally believe that we want to provide health care to the people in all segments of American life? Now, and I ask you this because if you don't, you have to be willing to let them die. You can't keep writing laws that say you can show up at any ER and get care, right? but then pass no laws to pay for that. What you're doing is trying to pass the buck and bankrupt the ERs. That's correct. So what I, and I have this discussion over, on, over and over, Shirley. Shirley, I'm not sure people even really agree that they really want to even provide the health care yeah, for, for somebody them. else. Yeah, I think they kind of just say, hey, my, my, de my debts are bad. You got to go on do it on your own. <laughs> yeah, I know. I agree But with remember, that. when you say that, when they show up, you also have other laws that say when you say that, they will show up on the ER door with a pneumonia that could have been treated for $15 two months ago. Now they have a problem that's going to cost you, you know, $5,000 a day. Okay. And you're going to be stuck as the taxpayer because you already mandated with your new pseudo-morality that they have to have care, but just ain't nobody got to pay for it. Ain't nobody got to pay for it. We, we have not talked about life. Meaning that, what are we doing to preserve life in America? What are we doing so that people stay healthier, so that they don't have to go towards the doctor or towards medicine? Because that's where the cost accumulates. It's because of sickness. As much money as we spend on trying to keep us alive, why are there programs mandated, if you're going to do a mandate, by the government, such as maybe better physical health care for children, so that when they become adults, they know how to stay healthier, and we would not have issues with having to have money for health care when we're naturally maintaining our health. Well, that's a good point. Just like the school, Shirley, we're no longer, you know what, I don't know if you guys realize, everybody, probably, I think most people watching the show are probably over 30, a lot of them. Okay, so you all remember this. Remember when you had to take P.E.? Yes. yes. Well, physical education, we called it. Yes. Well, you know, P.E. is optional today. So two-thirds of your adults are obese. Right. Physical education is optional. You have the most overweight children you've ever had, probably in American history. Right. And But if we don't fund the schools, if we don't fund those right. things, in other words, it's obviously, so you guys got to accept one thing. The public, they're kind of on the slow side. Yeah, they are on the slow side. So they're going to hurt themselves. Well, you know. They really are, and their kids. And are, I understand. Are they, are they on the slow side or the fact that they it's not priority for them? It, well, they're they're living their lives. They're paying their bills. or they're, they're trying both. to cover as much as they can. They're eating fast food, though. They're, they're running out to McDonald's. Well, it's affordable. I well, can get two tacos for 99 cents and Jack in the Box. Well, yeah, you know, you think about it. You take a family, you take a family of five there, but then look at it. You're, you can take a family of five on ten dollars. You're overweight, undernourished. You could have taken that money, went to the store, and bought a cabbage, two, uh, some, some carrots, okay. rice. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's a, a chicken. Five, that's five dollars. A oh, chicken. You did, you're at twelve fifty. Okay, yeah, but I'm just saying you're going to feed your cent. family better when they get done. When you actually add up what you're spending on fast food, eating healthy is, is eating cheaper. It's just what you eat. It means you have to cook something: some beans, some rice, well, that means you some have corn, to cook. some right. That means you have to cook. cook. <laughs> <laughs> people do not cook. Well, you know, if the families came together, they would have a more healthier lifestyle because you know, as a physician, it's not just about physical, but it's also about spiritual and sure. emotional and soul wise. But how do we get them to buy into see the problem with this? I want to I preserve agree. health. How I do want, we, want people to stay focused on being a better healthy person. How do we do that? Well, I think, Shirley, let me tell you at least what I've seen work. How about the anti-smoking campaigns? Okay. At least we could, those of us who know, we remember with the days when you could smoke on an airplane. Yes. And it was socially acceptable was, to I smoke. I was just born, but yeah. Right. <laughs> but what I'm saying, I'm, I'm saying that the anti-smoking campaign is a campaign where you actually affected people's mentality. You went after them with education to actually try to affect our young folks and right. people that smoking is not okay. And it's kind of working. Now, the smokers, I know, hate it. But we needed to try to t attempt to adjust our society's <laughs> thinking. Right. And I, I know how much people resist that. But but part of that is education. We had once we made everybody aware of smoking, right. and, and and we almost were like you know adults <laughs> that manage over grown people, like the restaurants. It's Remember the, the restaurants? People used to be able to go smoke in a restaurant. Now I had to suffer because I don't smoke.